In this video, I'll show you how to use Osmond to preview the uphills and downhills of a planned route. I'll be showing this on the Android version of Osmond. The iOS version is similar. The basic idea is this. For any route you plan to navigate, you can get a good idea of the route's ups and downs, where they occur, how steep they are, and the overall altitude gain and loss. You can do this with routes like this one that you've created on the spot. And for GPX routes you've created ahead of time by touching them on the screen. For example, here we can see that the estimated uphill climb is 532 meters. Note that this is the total elevation gain for the trip. The estimated descent is 462 meters, and again, this is the total elevation loss. There's also the average altitude and altitude range. The blue graph is an altitude profile of the route. The green graph is its grade or slope. Analyze on map correlates the altitude profile with the route. By touching it on the screen, you can change the appearance of a GPX track to show its altitude, or slope. You can also do this with GPS routes you've created on the spot by customizing the route line. Once you start traveling the route, you can get an update at any time for the rest of the route. Another way to get a sense of altitude is with contour lines and hillside shading. To use these, go to Download Maps on Android or Maps and Resources on iOS. Then enable them in plugins. And finally, you can see the altitude at your current location by going to Configure Screen and enabling the widget.